Okay, so this video is for people who do not have an iPhone 11 and want to find a better way to get the wider angle perspective. For that, I recommend buying an external lens adapter for your iPhone. These things are really great. I've been using them for years, uh, and if you're willing to buy one and strap it to your phone, then it can really be a great tool. For a standard iPhone, like the iPhone 7, 8, or 10, uh, the quality is really superb. Um, most of them, when you buy them, they come with a custom case for your specific phone. I really like this because uh, you can just screw it on when you want to use it and then screw it off when you're not using it. Um, currently in this, I'm using a moment lens here, and this can make the standard you know, 1X camera into a 0.X camera, which is almost as wide as the ultra-wide camera on the new iPhone 11. Uh, like I said, I'm using a moment lens here, but there are tons of them out there on the market. Um, I have two brands that I recommend on my website here, uh, Moment and Sandmark. Quick note, I do recommend that you don't buy the cheapest one. Um, be prepared to spend at least $60 to $100. With regards to any kind of camera lens, you do get what you pay for. Uh, there are plenty of really cheap ones on Amazon, but I find that the lack of the quality glass is extremely noticeable in the resulting image. So, you know, reaching for, you know, a 10 or $15 one on Amazon, I, I don't even recommend doing it because the quality is usually really bad. So spend at least $60 to $100 if you're gonna do it, um, if you want it to be worth it.